Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to the Iceman Isaac Academy, the second channel of the Warzone Academy dedicated specifically to coaching every single day. Today we are returning with one of our favorite series on the channel and it is How to Clutch, where I'm going to take three separate end games. I'm going to walk you through everything that I'm doing to clutch out the end game, or I'm going to take moments from you, the community, and talk about how you could play better or what you're doing well that you may not realize that you're doing well, all in an effort to help us clutch out the end game. So we're going to jump into it right now. If you guys want your gameplay ever submitted, all you have to do is go in to the Discord that'll be linked in the description. But more importantly, if you want to be involved with the action, everyone over here, over on Twitch, make sure to join me over here for some awesome content where we do all this live. You can ask me additional questions. If you have questions about my setup, strategies, coaching, it can all be answered here. Smoke. So I'm on 16 kills. I had just died. I'm working my way back, playing some solos. Oh, I'm an idiot. And I kind of make a mistake. Right here is my loot. This is where I died, and I was really just trying to get my loot back oh, so I idiot. could play the game out. But unfortunately, I'm back with my fists. I'm an idiot. And I've got to figure out how the heck am I going to win this end game when I don't have a single gun. I just died to someone over here earlier too. I just won my gulag. Oh, my so I'm trying to closer in the zone. I'm trying to figure out where the heck these guys could be, right? So now I'm starting to try to make a decision. Where do I want to rotate? This gas is going to be pushing me in over the next minute and a half. So I really don't have time to loot up any of here. So I'm trying to figure out where the heck can I loot while also working my way into the end circle. And it's going to end up being this building right here. I got to get something in my hands. Nice job. So I'm playing slow. I'm playing the angles. If someone's holding me, then I'm going to have to do something crazy to get out. But I push forward. End up finding some decent guns. Keep in mind, this gameplay might not be the most recent, but that really doesn't matter because we're talking about strategies here. Please don't blow Not metas. And I'm so glad the bombing runs are done because that was one of the most annoying mechanics in the game. Killer loot. I'm not a big fan of this NZ at long range. Double smoke, too. So I got double smoke. I got an NZ and an MP40. I opt to wrap around. I'm pulling, once again, kind of that pinwheel rotation. I'm a little bit closer to the zone that I would like. But I don't want to rotate through here because I'm expecting someone to be camping there. So I want to build a little bit of buffer, a little bit of a chance to kind of get some situational awareness, figure out what's going on. And so I rotate all the way around the side of the map and just take a moment. I'm looking for rotations out of here, right? Looking for rotations out of here. Trying to figure out, okay, what's going on? How can I get my load out of my hand? And my scan is focused down here, and I spot a player Engaging right there. You got gas Safe zone. Here's some extra loot, and now I'm starting to push to act on bound. the player that I saw on the lower left, and knowing that he's eventually going to wrap up towards me. But I decide, hey, I want my loadout. I opt for the automaton and the snake shots. Forgive me. Start getting shot in the cheeks. Get the cover. And I'm not focused on that. I'm looking, hey, there could be at any moment a guy wrapping in behind me. Old automaton. Mm, I miss it. So while I'm sitting here and I'm reloading, I know that guy's most likely plating where I just killed him, right? And so Enemy. I'm checking my back. I get the ping on him right there. Stay alert. Pull up my lightweight weapon so I can move faster. Not running in a straight line just so I can break his aim assist as necessary. Break his, you know, his tracking pattern. And then I'm going to push right back into him. I'm going to make an aggressive push towards a piece of cover. And then I'm just scanning. My eyes are just here, 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 here. Trying to find where the heck this guy could be. End up spotting him, get the down, pull up my lightweight weapon, but I am scanning here, right? Because I've already scanned all through here. That's what I rotated from. I'm scanning up on this top left to see, hey, let's not get too greedy on the thirst. Don't go too heads down. I'm looking up there. He ends up quitting. Yeah, later, brother. Which GG's later. Better luck next game. Better luck next game. And then I'm forcing myself back out to the outside of the zone. I actually like playing in the outside of the zone. If there's not a definite power position, I'm just going to chill on the outside of the zone because I understand where people are going to be rotating from, right? 
We already killed one person that was rotating down through here. And now I'm going to be looking for people who are rotating up through here. Because it's solos, and I know how people play, and that's l exactly what happens. You'll see right here, nice and slow, there's a player right here. He drops down. Really, try not to make too much noise, but I end up spotting him. Get the quick down. But there's one important thing to notice there. I play off of people's body language, right? Why is this guy hard focusing to my lower left? Right? What, what, what's this guy looking at? Is There's, there's, there's got to be something going on down here, right? And so that's something I'm going to keep in my mind as I go to play that forward. You can see there, I make a little check, right? I knock, and I look, and I scan. Okay, what is this guy looking at? Nothing. Okay, that's fine. Reset that optical zoom. And I'm like, okay. Let me double check real quick. See where people could be coming from. I'm expecting those pinwheel rotations. Other people do it, right? And boom, I spot someone. This guy's going to have to rotate hard. I don't want... I, I want him to feel safe with this rotation. And so I'm not showing face. So I said, I, you know, I, I want him to feel safe, right? Because he... I just saw a little bit of his head crossing over, right? And I want him... Instead, if, if most people would just take a shot and then he would ro wrap deep around and I would never be able to see him, right? So I'm wanting this guy to be like, okay, is it, is it safe? Is it safe? Okay, I'm just going to go down through here. Right? And I, actually, I don't even see him. He's right here. Right on your yeah. tail. Although, because I didn't want him to wrap back left. So I'm going to wait a second. Wrap right, back left. Right? Look at his body language, right? There. As soon as he turns his shoulder and starts sprinting, he's already committed. That's when I take my shots. It's too late. As soon as I hit this, I'm checking my other angle. Sweet. Okay. Lower left and upper right. Like, I am super worried about people coming up here. Notice how you're not going to see me, like, in a full sprint. I'm just, like, really trying to keep my gun up and ready for where someone could be taking the high ground. Because this... Look how much of this zone could be wrapping in towards me. That's what my threat is. Guy down here, like, uh, is not really that much of a threat. I can prone out. I'm going to be safe, right? And so you'll see there's 55 seconds left. 50 seconds. 40 I seconds. I hold the high ground. I want to make sure no one wraps the high ground behind me, though. And it's, it's annoying, and it's patient, but I play 45 seconds now. I play for 45 seconds just focusing on that wrap. Because I know someone's going to try to hold this high ground for me. Spot him coming up over the hill. Gun him. Get that the down. Guy. My guess, based off the body language of the other players, the last one's below. Get the down. Get a nice little airstrike. Pick up a better... A better gun. Get to the new safe zone. Gas is closing in. I should play it up. Okay, now we know I am in a 1v1. Got the 20 bomb. I have dead silence. An airstrike. And what I'm doing right here is... I'm still thinking in my mind there's someone proned out. Like maybe like right here or something. But I'm going to do my due diligence and I'm going to shoulder. Right? I'm going to shoulder and I'm going to peek and I'm not going to see anything. And I spot him directly below me. He actually hits me up pretty bad. And I almost choked the gunfight. But I'm confident in the fact that this little bounce stun, because if I were to throw the stun, like, down on the ground, I would have to overexpose myself, or I was trying to bounce it off the tree, that's super unlucky. If I throw it straight down, it's going to go way past them. So I hit a little bounce stun right here. Not even worried about plating at this point, because I have the gas on my back and, I d gas on my back, and I don't have a gas mask. So I jumped down. I was still getting used to the variable zoom. Missed a lot of shots. Able to get back on target. Switch over to the MP40. Get the thirst. Vamos! And get a nice solo win. But what we're going to look at now is someone that might not have pulled it off. I haven't seen these games. We're going to take a look at two other community members. And we're looking at Jonaha. Or Jonaha. I don't know how to say your name, brother. I'm sorry. TTV or... Oh, I think John put it... I think he saw that as a J. I think it's just... Onaha. Sorry, brother. Thank you for sending in your footage. Appreciate that, man. He's a streamer. We'll have him linked in the description if you want to check out his channel. He's got nice hair. 
All right. He's got 12 kills to his name. He's once again, this is the automaton meta. Once again, the automaton meta may not be relevant anymore, but all that matters is how to clutch, how we're going to play through. The gun doesn't matter. The strategies do. 12 kills. Five flares left alive. I'll pick the fight. Holding a high ground. Doing his due diligence to clear out the back of the zone, right? Because if you if you see here, there are two other buildings that we don't know if he has cleared out. Three other buildings, rather. And so we're going to double check, look back behind us to make sure no one's rotating in. It's a very great power position to be holding. Let's see if we can see what the previous zone... Yeah, so we don't have that information of what the previous zone looked like. I'll pick the fight. Checks in behind. Looks like he's got good movement, good slide cancel. Spots a guy there. Proned out. Barely wins the fight. Me personally, if I'm here and I spot him, I guess, no, this is fair, right? The other player hadn't shot back at you. You guys both start shooting at the exact same time. Um, you just had better shots. Nice no, re recoil wait. control. Good win there. Sorry if the audio is a little wonky, but once again, none of that really matters. It's all about the, uh, it's all about the gameplay and the rotation. Spots those guys rotating. I would be a little hesitant to shoot right here, right? Because we know... Well, how many people are left? Actually, it looks like only... Is that only three people are left? Oh, it's only three people are left. Okay. So you know... You know at that point that you can be comfortable. There's four people left alive right here. One goes down. Now you know where at least one other player is. But I would still be a little cautious. Because we, at least as far as I'm aware, we have not cleared out this lower right. And we're shooting an unsuppressed weapon. And tunnel visioning pretty hard over here. But keeping an eye on your left flank, not just tunnel visioning that one. You may have some more information that I don't. Okay, yeah, you're still clearing out your lower right. So I don't think you know where that last one is. We know there's one over there on the corner. But you're in a really nice spot. That ravine is actually incredible cover. Because all you have to do is prone out and you're, and you're saved from a lot of different angles. Double check in the wrap. Love that play. There's the guy behind you. You've got a gas mask though. Gets the res off as fast as he can so he can still get some value out of that gas mask. His health might start regening. It will. Thrones out to lay low. Gets the information of those two players fighting. There's still three players left alive, though. Trying to lay low. No. Okay, so, so let's break it down to, to two key points. Okay, so... Right here, when I'm at the end of a solos match, I don't care about kills. Like, at all. When, when I'm in the top five, unless I'm pushing for like a 30 bomb or something, I'm not playing... I don't want to call this stupid. I'm just not exposing myself. We're shooting an unsuppressed weapon right here. We knew we didn't clear out behind us, and that's how we got that really nice 1v1 right here. But we also haven't cleared out these three buildings as far as I'm aware. And based off your body language, you hadn't cleared it out either. So you start taking those shots. And it ends up costing you because now you were showing up on the radar. You're still pretty hard tunnel visioning this guy over here. And even though you're doing a really nice job of wrapping to check what could be a 200 IQ wrap by this guy. You had not cleared behind you. Get shot in the back. Almost get saved. Super unfortunate you get down. Really nice job of popping your res quick. That way you can still get utility out of your gas mask to have that regen your health. I l absolutely love this play right here where you take a second to breathe and plate up. But if I'm you, we know for an absolute fact there is someone right here, right? Uh, zoom in on the mini map for me if you wouldn't mind, John. We know there is someone right here. Oh, and there's an absolute unknown. Basically, we know that he's not right in here because we just visually cleared that. So it's like, okay, where the heck is the other guy? You've got one of two options. Well, you've got three options, and I don't like your option. Your option was to kind of passively push in through here and keep an eye on what's going on over here. But there's also still three up, which means there could be someone over here. He could be further in here. He could be thirsting right here. I don't even know. I just, I would hard commit. We always talk about the pinwheel rotation. I think it pays dividends even more right here. We know for a fact there's someone here. Either ape this guy and take the kill or 
wrap so deep to the left that this guy doesn't have an angle on you because of this natural terrain. Or if he does, you're at least got some distance on him. You see that gunshot right there. One of two options, and me personally, I would have wrapped super deep left. You're, you're in a bad spot right now, right? The, the initial mistake that you made over here is what's causing you to be in this predicament. But it's still recoverable. <laughs> it's just... You've got full plates. You've got a stim. You can do something aggressive. You could have even stimmed in the gas and done something crazy with a super deep left wrap. But we're just... We're just, we're just kind of like half committing right now. And you end up pushing yourself into the pinch. Which this guy was in a really great natural position where I would have rotated to. Um, and you probably still could have gotten ripped off that heady either way. Unlucky. Well played. Good shots. This guy right here wrapping behind you screwed the entire thing. I would not half commit to pushing in slowly. I would either full commit to taking out that guy or just saying, screw it, I'm going to wrap super deep. Um, but nice looking stream, nice overlays. Good shots. Woo. GG's unlucky. Thank you for submitting your gameplay. Once again, his Twitch will be linked in the description if you guys want to check that out. And then finally, we're going to take one more look at the GOAT. Gas is inbound. John, for Mr. 40 Fed, the editor. We were really short on people who submitted Caldera footage, so please make sure you check out the Discord, join the Discord, and submit your gameplay so I can review it. Uh, John review, record some of his own because people were still submitting Verdant's gameplay, and uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. All right, John, eight kills, rocking the automaton. He's keeping an eye on his top left, watching for the people rotating out of the gas. Absolutely love that. Spots a player, beams him. Doesn't get the thirst. Okay. This right here. Okay, you run out of you run out. So I think you have I think you have the setting on that says sprint cancels reload. Which means that if you were to hold forward and an auto attack sprint, it'll cancel your reload. I be, I believe that's what happened. Turn that off. The only time that I would want, I mean, I don't want that, right? If, if I need to sprint, I'm going to manually press my sprint and start clicking L3, uh, or I'm going to start pressing shift. It looks like right there, that kind of like screwed your reload. Like you started, you, you stopped the reload there when you didn't mean to. And then what I would have done differently here, great job. Keep in mind, this guy is positioning himself based off of your last known location, right? So his cover is here, and he is trying to position himself to get a res based off your last known location. Well, now you've moved a little bit of a, you know, a difference from it. You are right here. But what you could do to be even better is hit a jumping B-hop. Snap, you know, snap your aim over to the left. Jumping B-hop, snap your aim over to the left. Now you've worked an angle on him. And you've built some space from the gas, which will prevent this from happening. I see you put that little strafe in there because you didn't want to get headshot. But you could have you could have cleaned this up a lot faster. Nice job. So you're trying to keep yourself out of that gas mask animation. You could have finished him up a lot sooner. End up getting the kill. I'm surprised your gas mask didn't get put on faster. All right, now we instantly got to start thinking. Crap, we are about to crest a high ground. We just got into a gunfight. There are people down below us. We're going to push over the top. Of a high ground right so it's gonna get super super dangerous really quick if there's anyone looking up at us so now we need to decide okay where are we gonna go you can wrap hard right and get behind this building and then possibly work underneath this building or just based off of the way that this map looks right you can see hey there's a rock here hey there's a rock here up to you pick one choose one commit to it don't lazily just go over this ridge line you could wrap hard left and get behind this rock and be safe there for a moment. Let's see what you do. Cut left. Start reloading. My focus would not be a reload right there. It's, it's getting into the zone. Especially when it's 39 bullets. Like, oh, brother, if there's someone there, your game is over. Period. Just for reference, right? 
those are the big hunkin' rocks that we were talking about that you possibly could have wrapped to. Gas is Go. Okay, grabbing that just to get his perks if you didn't have them already. One of those perks you're rocking is high alert. And you get the high alert ping over here on your right. Keep in mind, late game. People like to rotate slow. You're in the seventh circle. If there's a building, there's most likely a rat. That should have been your first thing that you go to clear out. Fortunately, high alert pays off on you. You start to put a, lin a little bit of shimmy. Is there a guy right there? Nope, you hear the footsteps. Nice little pre-flash. Get the hit marker. Push! Push, damn it! No, 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 John. Okay, 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 okay. Capitalize, homie. We throw that stun, and we get a hit marker. Okay? Where the heck could this guy be? Here is this little gated compound, right? Here, we'll do this. Here is the gated compound. You were right here, and you threw a stun that blew up right here. And you heard footsteps right here. Okay? You then proceed to swing around here, and by the time you are here, you get a hit marker. Where could he be? Your opponent is going to be somewhere in the vicinity of here, right? Because you got a hit marker, and it's a flash. He is going to be blinded. Your priority right there is to take advantage of that in full send through there. Just saying, deductive, deductive reasoning based off the information that we have, right? Great play there. You know this guy's pushing. He's overextending. You get the hit marker. Go, man. Go. He's just blind firing. You stun him again. Go. He's literally just blind firing. He's he's stupid. He's 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 lost. The guy is absolutely lost. <laughs> he he flashes you. You're absolutely lost. You take a breather. You regain. And what I would do here, right? All this is super awkward to shoot through, right? It, it, would, it might overexpose yourself a little bit, but me personally, I would jump up and take this high ground and just look over all of this. Let's practice trigger discipline, right? You know that you're not going to get a knock. He's already running away from you. You're not going to get a knock. All you did right there is you gate kept yourself. He's going to be looking in your direction. It looks like you realize that. You're probably telling yourself, oh shit, why did I shoot? You're making a very smart rotation here, but I would be careful. Because when you're holding this, you're exposing your entire lower right. Mm. Nice use of cover. You don't spot the guy up here on your top right. All right, we gave up that high ground, which would have been really, really nice to have. Oh, no. You got the guy up on your top right, and you've got a guy even further behind there. There's a player here, a player here, and a player you just killed right here. You spot him right here. I haven't watched any of this footage. I just It's just my eyes. You can see him moving. You spot him as well. Nice job. Great shots. Yes! Absolute dude, fing perfect. You're in a 1v1, you tag him up, you know this guy is gonna be plating. You don't want your back to the gas anymore. I, I don't need you don't really need any of that money or stuff, right? You're kinda chilling, you got the gas mask. Whatever. You got him just tagged up enough to get yourself out of a really, really bad position. Okay, here is where I would be fine. With you reloading. There's not a lot of cover here, so I like the fact that you're kind of moving out. If you're smart, or if you're not smart, if you were aware, you would see that this just went off right there. Making a deep wrap. Totally fine with this. Love this play. But if we're going to commit, let's commit, right? 
let's stop let's stop messing around because if this guy sees you this gas is on your cheeks if you're going to commit to a deep wrap just do it you know this guy is up on the hill there's no benefit from us playing maybe you don't realize you're in a 1v1 nice nice and then this i don't know what this is that is just that is absolute heaven for me wrapping up checking the angles try to get up a little higher yes beautiful head glitch you spotted the player you were not safe where you're at though let's make sure we reload it's all part of our cross check right while we're waiting for him to be here we're doing a cross check and it's like all right we're scanning here but for a second we're doing okay hey what is my ammo at okay sweet i'm good scan back up here hey what is my utility at okay sweet hey what is my field utility at sweet where's the zone at am i safe sweet how many people are left sweet am i fully plated sweet do I have a gas mask? Sweet. How many plates do I have left? Sweet. All right. And in, in, in flying, it's what you would call the hub and spoke cross check. Because it looks like a hub and a whole bunch of spokes that you are constantly referencing back to. Congratulations. You're all now Air Force pilots. But now we got to figure out, okay, when, when we realized that we're here, we should have realized a long time ago that we are not safe where we're at so at the exact same time we're keeping an eye on this angle we should also be looking either at our mini map to see that hey we've got a rock here or we've got a rock here in the same way that we're like analyzing the situation to see everything that we have for our utility we should also be seeing hey am i safe oh shit, i'm not where can i go next there's a rock here there's a rock here there's a shed here especially since he's not aiming at you right Nice. Nice job. A little bit risky to get off both plates, but that's fine. You still have utility, though. You still have utility. Great wrap. Oh, my goodness. Pull it out. Finish them. Let's go. Sweet. Dude, super well played. A, a little bit of hesitancy and a little bit behind the power curve with some of the decisions you're making. I, I don't know why this guy didn't shoot you sooner. A better player would have completely beamed you. But you pull out your gun. You're putting in the jimmies. You're trying to get through. As soon as you get here, great shoulder peek there as you're plating to get some information. If you're here, what I would have done is just waited a second longer and thrown that little pop flash right there and blown that up. Because you've got utility. We want to use it. A better player with a headset may have heard you wrapping around behind him. But really nice plays. Great rotation. And yeah, GG's. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys like the Warzone Academy. If you do, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Drop a like if you learned something new. Enjoyed some of the breakdown for both the things we could have done better and the things we did well. Uh, shout out to John. And um, I apologize for not knowing how to say your name. Onoha? I think it's Onoha. They will both be linked in the description. John is also my editor. If you guys enjoyed this gameplay and you want to be part of it live, make sure to join me over on Twitch. Without further ado, have a great rest of your day. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.